Oh snap. I'm back. Oh snap indeed. For 2020. Welcome back, people. Welcome back, sir. Word, word. Uh, 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 all that uh, good all, stuff. All that good stuff. Got a whole lot of gang stuff going on. <laughs> gang, gang, whole lot of gang shit. <laughs> <laughs> but thank y'all for tuning back in. Thank y'all for continuing to rock with us, being word, patient. Word. Word. It's hey. your mama's favorite podcast, The Physics Study Group, aka TPSG Podcast. Yes. Wait. Okay. All yeah, right. you know. Yeah, I was, I was making sure a podcast wasn't also. In, in the that, TPSG, yeah, in not the, I feel you. Where, <laughs> that, that's, yeah, no, I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, you know, we're short two members, but you know, they, they have a uh, good reason not to be here. Oh, yeah, yeah. we're going to keep it pushing. Yeah, for oh. sure. Shout out to y'all, though. Shout out to Asimov. And shout out to my dog, Adiego, the real Adiego. The real Adiego. He owe me a hundred favors. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> word, word. But as for who's here, mm-hmm. it's your boy, Jormatic. Mm-hmm. AKA Wave Chappelle, AKA Wavy McGrady, AKA Malcolm Vex, hey. <laughs> AKA, or, sorry, BKA Skip Beardless, AKA Black Galifianakis. Oh, and this is Flocka Zulu, AKA Sir Black Scott the Third, AKA Nicodemus, AKA Wave Named, it, AKA <laughs> Pablo Escovich, AKA No More, AKA Stop the Violence. Rah, rah. And, and who this... that over here? Who that flew in? Oh, left the window <laughs> open. All right, it's uh, Who Kid, aka File Owl, aka Light Skin Slim. Hey, <laughs> hey. I like that. That's his Jack Boy name. For real, yeah. for real. <laughs> That's what they call him on missions in GTA. Yeah. <laughs> that was his screen name in, well, in, with AIM. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> AIM. AIM. Well, AIM, that's a throwback. Word. For real. Bing. So. Man, we got a lot to... It's been a rough week, bro. Bro, to say... To say the least. The very least. First and foremost, mm-hmm. rest in peace to Kobe Bean Bryant. Mm-hmm. That even R. sounds R. weird just coming out of my mouth. Bro, bro like, it's it's so surreal. Like, we, we were together with that. You remember my reaction? Yeah. Like, because you you were the one that, like, told me, like, yeah. I think... Because we, you... We were, we were at brunch. Yeah. And, you know, I scrolled Twitter as I usually do. And I saw someone tweet. They said... I won't believe this Kobe Bryant news until someone confirms it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what Kobe Bryant news? Word. So I'm scrolling Twitter and I see somebody helicopter crash, blah blah, and TMZ tweeted something deleted. I'm like, bro, Kobe's not dead, bro. Word. When, and I, I didn't say anything initially, word. but somebody else at the table said, word. "Yo, I'm like, I know what you're reading, bro." Word, word. Yeah, then I then I told you. Word, word. What was my reaction at first? I was like, I was like, nah, that's. No, yeah, it's just it was, like no. Bro, I was like, that can't be true. It what, can't were, be. what were you guys doing when you found out, bro? Like we, we we're, were at brunch. Yeah, we're, we're eating we're at, brunch. We're, we're at oh, a, y'all were at brunch. We're at a homegirl's wow. um birthday. Birthday, dinner, yeah, man. birthday brunch. Okay, shout okay. out to Cristela, la 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 la. Kind of yeah. put a damper on the on the on the celebration. But wow, yeah, I yeah. Can was, imagine, I can yeah, imagine. bro. Like, I like you. Talk, I couldn't. I was just like, yo, that ca- that it just sounded like a rumor. A helicopter yeah. crash. Mm-hmm. I'm like, come on. But yeah. this, wasn't the Sunday going so good, bro? No, it was going excellent. It was going so like good. Cloud in the sky, bro. Perfect yeah, bro. weather. Well, on this side, on this side, on this side. Yeah, bro. Like, I, I hate. This is usually your job, mm-hmm. but bro, so many things just don't feel right about, about it, bro. No, no, mm-hmm. no, no. I, I like. I, out of respect to him and you know his daughter, yeah. and also rest in peace to his daughter Deanna oh, that, Bryant, that, which yeah. is yeah. Uh, um, you know that's a lot to take like, me too. Yeah, yeah. Man. Anytime I hear about things like this, and, my, uh, the whole like uh, it seems like oh, my bad to cut you off. No, no, you they, good. they showed the 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 list of the vi- the fa- um the other victims. Yes, and it seemed like a, a piece whole, of them too. A whole other family, bro. It was like a, yeah, it was her. Dude, it was her basketball teammates and a, and a couple coaches, I think. Word, like yeah. it seemed like it looked yeah. like it was a dude, his wife, the daughter. I'm like, yeah, there's, yeah, there's there's I think two sisters right now who mm-hmm. antebellies. I think yeah. I think their That's parents, name, yeah. both their parents and their sister died. Yeah. yeah. So imagine losing your parents, both of your parents. Word. And it, was, your sibling, it was nine people you know? in, a, in a helicopter. Nine, nine. people total. You, yeah. have the hel- you have the pilot, Kobe, him and his daughter, mm-hmm. and um, the parents. I think another woman who was by herself, a man that was yeah. by himself, and I know they kids. Ha- I know they all had something to do with the, the Mamba mentality facility. And exactly. All that. Yeah. yeah, the basketball team. That, yeah. That's where they're going. And the crazy part is they said Kobe takes a helicopter all the time. He takes it like a taxi. That's that's, that's how he gets to the Mamba mentality. But did facility. you did you see the story on why he does it? Oh yeah, to have more family time. Yeah, you yeah. Know what I'm saying, and it's like, 
It's like to have that be the reason and yeah. it be taken away. It's not like he was on there with hookers and doing crazy stuff. You he was trying no, to like, save 20, 30 minutes just to be with his family and raise even, his children. Even that, dog, like when I heard that, I'm like, nigga, why are you, why are you out here flying helicopters in the first place, yeah, dog? And then yeah. I had the reason, I'm like, oh, you know yeah. what I mean? And then yeah. it was it was mad foggy. Like, um, Asimov, mm. you know he's over there and... Mm. um. Yeah, he said he said he saw the he saw the fog. It was like mad thick. Mm-hmm. And um they're, they're saying like the Coast Guard like um wouldn't even fly. That's what I was about to bring up. Yeah, yeah. they said like they didn't like uh confirm them to fly or something like that. I don't I don't want I don't But they had grounded all I think government and commercial airlines. Uh, yeah, I think that's mm-hmm. what it was. Yeah, because yeah. as the days go on, people are saying that I guess they don't even know how they got up in the air under those conditions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I actually watched this video that was like, I guess, a pilot transmitter where they're communicating with a facility somewhere. Mm. And they're basically telling them like, OK, this is what's going on. So go lower. Mm. Uh, but at one point I heard them say go to 1500 to 2000 feet. And then the pilot got back on and said, OK, confirmed I'm at 1400 feet. Mm. And then they say, OK, I'm going to connect you with this local person. They didn't make it seem like nothing was wrong. Mm. And then they connected them. You heard the person come on and they kept asking for the pilot, asking for the pilot. And meanwhile, on the video, you see like the plane moving, mm. uh, the helicopter. Like on the radar? On the radar. Oh, OK. And then at one point after like the third time the person asked for them, you just see it disappear. <sighs> so it could have been the moment when they crashed. Wow. But it's like for... Maybe 20, 30 seconds, Mm -hmm. there was no response. Yeah. So it's like, maybe that was the panic, you know? Mm -hmm. Because even that, like, that's another part that bothers me about when people die like that. Like, when Nipsey died, Mm -hmm. like, he was bleeding to death. His brother came, and he's looking at his brother, and he's trying to be strong and survive. So Mm -hmm. it's like, those moments, it's not like when people die at, you know, 102 in a bed with their loved ones around them. Yeah. It's this was just traumatic death. Yeah. Like yeah. if there was even 10 seconds where Kobe knew he was going to crash in that wall, like that is horrific. Yeah. But if yeah. he was back there and they were ta- talk, drinking juice and talking about the game and then yeah. you would hope, you mm-hmm. know, that that's. Yeah. Least, no, no. I really hope they didn't suffer. Yeah. Like, honestly, because. Because imagine like, if they crash. For whatever reason, they survive. Mm-hmm. The whole thing caught on fire. Yeah, like there, there was like, no chance of survival. Yeah, and it's the suffrage. Like, yeah. your head goes so many places when yeah. this stuff happens. No, I, you know what no, I mean? I, I, was, I, try, I, I try not to make my mind go that way, bro. Because yeah. even, you mm-hmm. know you know what I mean? Like, I would just imagine, like, being in that situation. I don't have no kids, but I just bet, imagine being in that situation with my daughter. And just, like, my instant thought would be, like, I wish she wasn't here with me. Yeah. No. Nah, yeah. Saying, you Instantly. Know I mean? And I, Instantly, I, I'm like, you know what I mean. I try not to like think about stuff like that, and and it, it, it's it, it's not that I don't want to see it, but I'm an empath, so I can like I'll find myself getting emotional and crying for people I've never met before. Mm-hmm. I mean, you that's know what I'm saying? Mean, I don't think I just mean empathetic. Yeah, that, yeah. That's that's what that means. Yeah, but I mean, like, I feel like everybody's like, oh, I'm an empath. Oh, no, nigga, you just well, like, no, no. Some people can see that and not. Mm. Be empathetic, right. you know what I'm saying. But I, I will, I will feel some way like I knew him. You know what right. I'm saying? No, no, I feel it. That's why, like, anytime I see stuff on Twitter and stuff, like I scroll past, like it's just I can't handle it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just, it's just too much. And then, like, you, you know what's crazy about it too? Like when Nipsey died, let's say there was probably a group of people who was like they don't really care mm-hmm. or yeah. good riddance. When you try to think about that, mm-hmm. I don't see that with Kobe because mm-hmm. he you was in been sports. On mm-hmm. So it's like, I mean, yes, there's still some, but it's like, unless unless you hating on him from when he was playing in the game, what mm-hmm. other reason do you have to hate on him? Yeah, no. And you I, saw the I transition. Agree. You saw the family man. Mm-hmm. You saw the actor. The ambassador. You know, he just got the Oscar. That ca- like, yeah. The I think Skip Bayless oh. said that was going to be like the next step in his career. Mm-hmm. I, went, yeah. Actually, there were some people, you know. Um, talking about oh, um, brought up like the the rape stuff that uh-huh. happened. Like, but, you heard about Ari Shafir? Nope, don't even say his name. Yeah, fuck do, that guy. Yeah, yeah I'm not giving him no airplay. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Yeah, honestly, if he there's ends whole, up in LA, there's a whole lot somebody's of, gonna kill him. A whole and lot. I don't mean that in any joking way. But like, do you know him Kobe from fans are serious? Do you right? know him from anything? Yeah, um, I was I was, I was telling Flock of Zulu he. I think he created a show on YouTube called This Isn't Happening. I don't know if you heard of that. Mm-hmm. Where like comedians would go up and tell like a crazy story about him for like an hour. Like um, t- 
Tom Segura, he's a comedian. Mm-hmm. Like he went up there and told a story about how he OD'd and it, you know, it's it's funny. Mm-hmm. So like he was always just some random comedian guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't know he Yeah. <sighs> nah, fuck that guy, man. Yeah, I didn't fuck him. <laughs> fuck him. Like, yeah. real, Don't real even talk, tell the story, man. Just fuck that guy, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To say something like that, like and record it and post it. Yeah. Let's say you have those feelings. Nobody can stop you from having those feelings. It's a free country, mm-hmm. but you don't have to express. You have to post. It, that's just going to be on the internet forever. You stuck now Word. because people screenshot and yeah, screen they're, capture. They're, they're, I did. See like you some, did not have to put yeah. that out. Like I, how you feel about somebody, I can't change that. I, I did see some fuckery. Yeah. Posted, uh, especially about like the about the way, but you know I don't even want to give it. Yeah, give it any airplay. Mm-hmm. Give it any airplay, bro. bro. Like. For yeah, real. no time. Yeah, yeah and, b- no time. and big ups to like the NBA and other players. Like they did this thing where um you know the shot clock is twenty four seconds. Mm. And Kobe's number twenty four, so mm. the um, mm. first possession of the game they'll dribble it out and not mm. make any plays and like mm. you know try to honor honoring Kobe and stuff. And yeah, I saw a video of Neymar um kind of shouting him out. Yeah, because was... you know he's a big soccer guy. Kobe yeah. like is good in soccer. Yeah, he's not just a fan. He can Remember play. You grew yeah. up you know in Italy. Yeah. All the soccer greats on him, dog. Yeah, like, like yeah. R- Ronaldinho posted about him. Yeah. Like it, even like a... golf. Even golfers, I mm. forgot his name, but some golfer put on a Kobe jersey, mm. and you know was like pointing at the back and you know hyping the crowd up, and he he damn near hit. A... Oh. <laughs> I was like, "There's no earthquakes in Miami." <laughs> what it, it, de- it sounded like half the, the half the um house was gonna like yes, yeah, <laughs> but um yeah, he put a jersey on, he hit damn near a hole in one, like he mm. whacked like. Another yeah. thing is Kobe is inspiring other athletes. Like ever since he passed, mm. niggas have been dropping career highs and he was dropping crazy stats. It's like mm. people don't understand too, the connection yeah. he had to everybody. He was this generation's Michael Jordan. Yeah. Mm. Like, you I know agree. what I'm saying? Then fought, followed by LeBron, of course. But like he he was respected by everybody. Yeah, people hated him from the competitive side. Like, mm. oh, I hate Kobe. I hate the Lakers, blah, blah. Mm. But it was uh, like people, all, like I was one of them. Mm. I always respected Kobe's game. Mm. I still think he's the second best shooting guard behind Michael Jordan. Mm. And I used to, you know, I used to say bad shit about Kobe. But it was always from a competitive standpoint. Mm. You know what I'm saying? People cannot separate that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like this man's past, he, his daughter passed. Like, that, yo, <laughs> like, speaking of, man. You? Uh, Flaka Zulu brought this up earlier. The video, there's several videos actually, but mm-hmm. the video to me that stood out um, is the one where they were at the game, and you see her like inquiring about something. And oh, and him explaining it to her, and she wasn't like big headed about it. She wasn't like, yeah, whatever, Dad. Like she was like, oh, I get it. Like she actually mm-hmm. respected her dad. Yeah, on like level. he was like something, something. She was like something, something. He was like, yeah, like it's yeah. like she got what she, he was talking. Mm-hmm. No, I can't you could tell there was a deep same, connection. Dog. Granted, he had multiple da- daughters. Yeah, but four. you could tell it was a deep connection, and she fell into something that he had love for before mm-hmm. all of that, which yeah. is basketball. Mm-hmm. So the fact that he was able to then give that to his daughter was probably like everything to him. You yeah, know? they call her um, Mambasita. Yeah. Mambasita. Yeah, I, I was going through um, his wife. Uh, page because apparently mm-hmm. it was private and she yeah opened because it up. of all those idiots yeah flooding but she, her page and shit but she opened it back up so people could like yeah look in, you know what I mean and you could tell he was a real family man mm-hmm. but that mom to see the shit was from like way back yeah and he was gonna copyright that. it he was gonna trademark it I mean yeah like he like he put in the paperwork to get a trademark and another thing um his wife said that they never fly in a helicopter together just in case something like that happens yeah because mm-hmm. if it crashes you don't they don't want to lose both of them oh yeah. wow. so they, they they said they never fly in a helicopter together wow yeah yeah that shit is tragic man but yeah. it, it's it's just still surreal yeah. look kobe bro, bro the, yeah. you know video, kobe you know what video got me bro and it was a day after and i was just sitting like with myself just like going through just w- looking at the videos and there's one where he's talking about like you know the daughter yeah. that that passed Gianna, mm-hmm. and he was saying that like people come up and come to him and be like, "Yo, you need to have a son carrying a legacy," and his daughter's like, "No, I got that." And yeah, bro, and bro, like, that's that mamba mentality, bro. bro. Mm-hmm. And bro, that's in the blood, bro. That, that, that that's out, what bro. hurts I was you, like, bro. That's mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, yeah, like man. the potential, dog. And like she put in so much work, just you know what I mean, just to made him probably not even think about having a boy. No disrespect, no, but like right. he was just like that. 
that's she's doing everything I want. Why would I want anything else? Yeah. Word, word. And you I, know? I, I, what I love, and you know, it's always pushing the, the, the good narrative, like, you know, that whole girl dad, like I see, I'm seeing like a bunch of, you know, yeah. mm-hmm. those mm-hmm. posts of like, you know, you know, men posting, you know, with their daughters and stuff like that. Cause yeah. it's like, it's one of those moments where you got to like wake up and be like, yo, you really got to take people around you. you yeah, don't take, take people. Yeah, exactly. Can't take people for granted. Yeah, you know for I mean? real. Because just like that, they can be gone. Bro, the yeah, same man. day, I went home, told everybody I loved them. Yeah. Like, you really right. take those moments and try to utilize them, learn from them. You yeah. Know? And, and don't, but, be, don't be a prideful adult where you can't go visit your parents. Like, if you don't live with them, don't act like you can't go visit them or do something with them, man, because you never know, bro. Yeah. You right. can wake up. The, God forbid. I never wish on anybody. You wake up the next morning. Word. This shit, shit ain't sweet anymore. Where man, those bonds, man, for real, yeah, yeah that and that's real. And um, going forward, it was actually the same day as the Grammys. Mm. This entire event, so there was a weird mood over the Grammys. There's mm-hmm. a lot of people who didn't want to watch the Grammys. And the to me, honestly, even seeing the updates online just seemed weird. Like, how could you? Yeah. Granted, it's not basketball. Mm-hmm. I don't know it's, it's, if there's a person on earth that could die that could stop a show that big, mm-hmm. you know. But I mean, if there is, he he, he was, was he, he was, was yeah. And and I know his impact was real because we were around people that don't give a shit about basketball, mm-hmm. and they were like, "Damn, Kobe, yeah, like he touched everyone. It don't yeah. matter if you're a basketball fan or whatever. Like he 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 was like he was like um." Like, like you know those celebrities that you refer to as one mm. name, mm. Jordan, Kobe, Prince. Mm. Yeah, that's it. He was he was in that status. He was a one name guy. Word. Yeah. And you can't. And it's like, you can't escape. Like even, like you know, just not even trying to think about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm 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 playing FIFA and like you know like the background music. Dude uses Kobe on his rhymes, bro. I'm like, oh, oh like, yeah, you're gonna no. continue to hear yeah, that you now. See what yeah, I'm saying it's like his influence is everywhere, and this is some yeah. dude from the UK. You know, what I'm yeah, saying? Like, everybody shots like Kobe, and it was like, I was like, man. And I think he's yeah. fluent in a Ita- he's fluent in Italian too. Uh, yeah, yeah, because like there's a and picture Sp- and Spanish, I believe. Yeah, there's a picture of him. I don't know how he was probably like 12 years old mm. playing in like the Italian basketball league against adults because his dad used to play. Ah. His dad used to play basketball. Like he. Man, this shit is crazy. Did, I did remember it. the day after I'm scrolling Instagram, and for some reason I forgot about it, and I saw a memorial. I was like, "Oh shit, Kobe's dead!" Like, is it was like it's your, just mind, your mind didn't want to accept it for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, uh, uh, rest in peace to yeah, Kobe. Man. Definitely, for real. and uh, many prayers and well wishes for his family and, and the, the other you know, families. The families affected, yeah. DPSGpodcast.com or thephysicstudygroup.com. You know what I'm saying? And get yourself some gear. We got hats, pins, shirts, all that stuff. Word, word. Everything. 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 <laughs> but did any of you watch the Grammys? Nope. Nope. Okay. So we all on the same page. <laughs> yeah, just J. Wasn't, Cole got a Grammy, though. Oh, oh that's nice. Yeah, that with, uh, nice. for uh, that song he had with 21 Savage. Um, uh, a lot. Think- Oh, okay, yeah. I, I figure if people I, I love care about song. got Grammy, no, it's I a dope about song. it. Coffee got a Grammy. Yes, big up coffee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big up. Yeah, coffee. big up. Or big for Rapture, right? Or yeah, toast. So toast. Yeah, I think it was for toast. It might have oh. been for both. And All you right. know, you know who? Even though her songs are mad annoying to me, <laughs> big. No, I'm gonna be real with you. Big up. Um. Wow, her name called Lizzo. Complete. Lizzo, big up Lizzo. Yeah. Her songs are annoying, dude. Yeah, I don't really like her music. You probably just don't like. That type of music. Maybe I don't like the singles. Mm-hmm. Maybe if I listen to an album, I like it. Mm. But what she's released, I don't really like. But mm-hmm. I say big up to her because she's taking a lot of slander on Twitter. Mm. Granted, mm. she she had this situation where she damn near got this Postmates worker fired mm. because she thought the worker ate her food, but finally didn't, and she sprayed her on Twitter. Everybody's mm-hmm. like, why would you do that? She's going to lose her job. Mm. So everybody was ripping off Lizzo for that. Mm. But then it started going into the fat jokes and blah, mm. blah, blah. So big up to Lizzo. Even though I fuck with your music, mm. you overcame all that. She's still hey. a black woman. Hey, she, Big up to her. I saw her her performance on SNL. I wasn't really... Um, and she knows how to perform, too. Yeah. Yeah, she's a good performer. Yeah, because I, I wasn't really familiar 
with her until um, the SNL, and I'm like, yo, the the song she performed, on, I was like, yo, this is a jam, man. She had the mm-hmm. she had the whole band with her, like it was all like you know big women. I was was like, it truth I, hurts? I, I fuck, I fuck with it. Um, the I, bomb, bomb, be dumb, be dumb, I, bomb, be. I, I That's her so. first single, yeah. I think so, yeah, yeah. You I, know, it's I don't I'm even like, think it's her fault on like I think it's the radio's fault because they play too damn much. Oh, bro, there's a couple <laughs> songs like that. Like I would like this if it wasn't on the radio. Oh, like, say it louder for, for the people. Five in times a minute. <laughs> did did any of you guys catch the Diddy uh, speech after? I believe it was after the Grammys. Not, no, it was actually at another award show. If I'm uh-huh. not mistaken, he oh, was got it? like a lifetime achievement award for something. Oh, didn't he get a um? Didn't he get a, a, a star on the, on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? That was Fifty Cent. Oh, Fifty I'm, got a star. Fifty got a star. Hey. Wait, 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 wait. Who did you say? I said Fifty Cent. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, you no, were thinking, we, about we were talking about Diddy. Diddy. Wow, <laughs> Diddy probably already has one. Yeah, yeah, anything. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, but hey, what? Fifty got one. That's dope. Yeah, that's dope. Shout out to Where? Fifty. It was, it was nice seeing him with uh, Dr. Dre and uh, Eminem behind him. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, the he whole time. Shit, they the reason yeah. he they, they basically yeah. Yeah. They, go, go. yeah, but go. the speech, the 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 Diddy speech. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure when it was, but a lot of people had. Um, a lot to say about it because he was saying how the industry always holds back black people mm. and then May spoke up and I think Dramatic knows the rest of the story. Yeah, but so yeah, I saw, I saw yeah so post. basically it was I, I didn't even watch the whole speech, but I know the gist of it. He's talking about black excellence. Like, um I think at the end of the speech he said we're gonna take back over black people, da da da. You know what? I actually heard it from um our uh our constant guest. Marky, oh. he was saying something about how Shout out Mark MC Mace, 9. yeah, MC9, Mark MC9, he was saying something about how Mace got upset, brought it up, and basically what it was is he offered to buy back his masters yeah, two for mil. two million, yeah, and Diddy was like, if you if you can't compare it to the Europeans or some other group mm. of people who wanted to buy it, mm. then I'm not selling it to you, dog. So how it's kind of like the that, contradiction yo. in the speech mm. is like. No, no. How can you ask the quote unquote white man to stop, <laughs> you know, holding you down when you holding down another black man? Exactly. Word, word. And that's yeah. what like Mace put a long ass Instagram caption. I'm not word. obviously I don't know it verbatim, but that's what it was. He said, um, like you can't scream back black excellence and enslave your own people. Mm. Yeah. He he like um like he, these parties started when he was like 18. Mm. And you know, he um I think yeah. he had like 20 G's or something. He's like like 18, Diddy, 19. Like, yeah. Yeah. And Diddy gave him like 20 G's, but he had his problems. He didn't know at the time. Yeah. And he said when he was growing up, he had enough money where he didn't really need the publishing, but when he found out it was just off principle, like you my fucking publishing. Yeah. And it, like you said, he went and we went to Diddy with two mil. Mm-hmm. Like imagine, yeah, that's your boy. They yeah. used to do videos together, album songs. Imagine, he mm-hmm. said, I'd give it to you if you like, can outbid like somebody. Your, that's, video. Some, that's your music. Y'all were your in, shit. Y'all, imagine. y'all boys was in videos Word. with the shiny Word. side Word. to side, Word. Yeah, with your hands yeah. high, like Word. in the like they had the suits that looked like the microwavable popcorn Word. thing. Word. Yeah, no, the, the stove top popcorn. I mean, they was kind of <laughs> biting off of Missy, right? Yeah, bro, Missy. Wait, Missy, which one came out first? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. I don't know either. First of all, so Missy, I can't say that. Re- well, regardless, Missy is a is an innovator when it comes. She to is. Oh, no, Missy is game. Missy's top three female rapper ever. I argue that against anybody. Where? Yeah, I mean, top ain't, three. She ain't three yeah. either. <laughs> right? Yeah, you know what I'm <laughs> no, but like I feel Mace though. And then on top of that, it, like I I swear, it just every generation got worse and worse. It first started with the Motown singers. You know about that, right? Where they mm-hmm. went out, put out albums, yeah, and yeah, the yeah, record yeah. label didn't give them shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it didn't only happen to uh the, um to black artists either. Mm-hmm. It happened to a couple white artists. Um, I don't know if you know about CCR, Credence Clearwater Revival. Mm-hmm. Their their songs are so famous, like their songs are in commercials and movies and stuff. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. to this day, the guy that that created those songs, he like has to like tell people like, no, don't use my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. because when he put it out, he didn't have the publishing and everything. Mm-hmm. And then Motown and then 90s rappers, now it's happened to these young niggas. Mm-hmm. And until somebody does something or says something, it's gonna keep going. Well, I, I kinda I kinda see the trend going to where it's harder to take advantage of people. Now I hope there. so. Cause it's like you could do so many things independently. Facts. And um yeah. 
And shout out to people like Ross, man. Oh, big shout out to yeah. Ross. You know what I'm saying? Like we promote um, entrepreneurship. Word, yeah. word. You know, and you know, and you. Well, you don't want to swear for people, but you don't. You don't never hear people like you know Wale, Stiley, like none of nope. them boys ever say True. he did them wrong. True. Anyway. I don't remember last time Stiley dropped the album, but he ain't out here complaining. You understand? Because Ross taking yeah. care of people. You understand? You know what I'm saying? And um, and, and it, it goes to show, it's like because. People will make it make it seem like you have to do things this way yes. in order mm-hmm. to 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 be to have money and just be successful. I'm like, look at Ross, yeah. like he he made millionaires and he's and he's you could still be profitable. You don't have to be greedy to where you take people's shit. My exactly. final thought on it is greed is always going to exist. Mm. So if they don't come from your same struggles, it's hard for them to not want to put themselves in an advantageous position. That's right. white or black. Mm. Well, no, no. If yeah, I can't that's relate, greed, greed, and greed, I know I can make no millions color. off of you while paying you hundreds of thousands. Mm. I'm They're gonna, gonna do, do it. it. You know, Absolutely. that's just the way the world. It works. doesn't make it right though, but not we justifying do, it. We but, do also yeah. live in a very independent time. So yes, that's the beauty of it. Mm-hmm. But um, think, um great I think example we actually, hmm? uh, Lil Nas X. Yeah, oh, yeah. man came from Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> like usually yeah. you come from SoundCloud right. or selling CDs out your truck. You came from Twitter, bro. I, I love, bro, I love that nigga, man. Just for the mere fact that I just know he be pissing white people off. Oh, yeah. I just know it, dog. A bl- and he, he won a Grammy, too. Oh, yeah. This man Frank came from Twitter and won a damn Grammy. Yes. And then he has a song called Rodeo with the actual Nas. Mm. And as I've been telling you, Nas never runs out of rhymes. Word. That nigga mm. skated like it was 95, bro. Hey. It, 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 I was like, like, this year I was like, all right, come on, don't do this. But I listened, I was like, oh shit, this shit is hard. I bumped this in the whip. Word. Now, it's a tough ass song. It's called it's called Rodeo. I think it's called Rodeo. Uh-huh. Check it out. Any final words before oh, yeah. we wrap up here? Oh yeah, I am looking at the sundial. It's yeah. Like, it is about an episode. Looking at my Casio, it's about that time. Word. <laughs> but um you I mean all that thunder and lightning. Yeah. <laughs> Grandma <laughs> Yo, I'm scared. That's why hey, you're my nigga, man. Nobody needs to know where it's from. If you if you know, you fucking know. If you know, you know, man. But um <laughs> parting words. Obscure references, right? Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> parting words, hug your loved ones. Don't take anyone for granted. Make the most of the time you have with the people you love, cause that's real. Shit can change in a second. And I mean that literally. Mm. Real talk. Word, word. And, yeah, this has been Splaka Zulu, a.k.a. Nicodemus, a.k.a. Sir Black Sam III, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. Wayne Nende, a.k.a. No More, a.k.a. And this your, oh, and this your boy, <laughs> Who Kid, a.k.a. Foul Owl, Ooh. a.k.a. Light Skin Slim. <laughs> Gonna make it work. <laughs> Don't force it. <laughs> and like my brother Dramatic said, please. Wait, I can't introduce share. myself? Oh no, yeah. no no! I was just gonna say oh. share <laughs> share with your loved ones that you you love them, hug them, mm-hmm. and even your friends. Tell people who are in your life now and count that yeah. you do love them. So mend those or, relationships. Um, sorry, there's one last thing. Jay Williams used to play basketball, and he was talking about Kobe, and like he was crying. He was like, "Yo, any beef you got with somebody?" And that shit. And he that said it. shit on ESPN. He's like, "Sorry, I cursed." Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, like I mean. Hey, all of, final all, thing, did you see the day of or the day after Kendrick Perkins apologized and tried to mend everything with Kevin Durant? He sent out a tweet saying, whatever nah. problems we got, like, it's over, bro. See? Like, I love That's you. That's the shit I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. These moments, they're tragic, but they, they open avenues. Because mm-hmm. maybe 24 hours before that, Kendrick was like, fuck KD. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, for, nah, if that right. opens his heart enough to plead with him for his forgiveness, mm. that's what we need. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Word, word. Can't and waste no time. For real. And it's been your boy, Jormatic, a.k.a. Wave Chappelle, a.k.a. Wavy McGrady, a.k.a. Black Galifianakis, a.k.a. Malcolm Vex. And this has been The Perfect Study. Rated R. <laughs> <laughs> I'll right. let y'all next week. Peace.